everybody, this is Jim Hester. I'm a software engineer at RStudio. Today, I'm finally going to be submitting my Vroom package to CRAN. And I thought it might be fun to do it as a demo so you could see just this one part of the mythical CRAN submission process. Now, CRAN does provide a web form to, to do the submission, but I find it somewhat cumbersome to use. And as a result, we have a number of functions in the use this and DevTools packages that make this submission process smoother and easier to do. And that's what I'm going to be demonstrating today. So the first thing, the first function that we're going to use is in the use this package. And it's called use release issue. This function does a couple of things. Um, first, it, it creates a GitHub issue and that GitHub issue as steps of all the different steps you need, things you need to check before you can do the CRAN submission. So we're going to do that now. Let's say use release issue, and then the first thing this is asking me now is um, what version number we want to use for this, this submission. So as I mentioned, this is the initial submission of Vroom. It, it's, I'm, I'm submitting it to CRAN uh, for the first time, so I'm going to do uh, a major version bump uh, to 1.0.0. So I'll choose that option. And then um, what this actually did was create a new issue, release room 1.0. And then let's look at what all the things are in this issue. Um, so there's a bunch of different check checklists to go through. First things, I check that the description is informative. Uh, so let's head back to our RStudio and look at the description. Over here in our description file, the title is read and write rectangular text data quickly. And it's in title case, that's important. Our description is the goal of Room is to read and write uh, data like CSV, TSV, and, and fixed width files quickly. When, re when reading, it uses the quick initial indexing step, then reads the values lazily, so only the data you actually use need to be read. The writer formats the data in parallel and writes to disk asynchronously from formatting. I think that does a, a decent job of describing uh, what the package is supposed to be for, so I think we can check that one off. And licensing, um, again, this is important. This is fairly important. Um, so I, I've already done this um, for Vroom, but we can look at, uh, I have a, a license file that contains all of the license information. So Vroom, for Vroom itself, and then also copyrights. Copyrights file um, that contains all of the copyright holders. Room has uh, a few libraries that it, that it includes um, the M M MIO library for doing MMAP, MMAP files and uh, a library for um, formatting decimal decimal point numbers uh, when it, for the writer. And so I have to make sure that those are in the in the description file. And you can see that's that's what these these people are in, in my description file. It's important when you're using open source software to include all the relevant uh, copyright holders. And CRAN makes sure that, that you have them as well. So check, we can check off the check, checking of the license. Um, now use this, use CRAN comments. I actually already have ran, but we can see that what it, what it generates is this file, crancomments.md. This is a markdown formatted uh, file, and this is the comments that you're providing to CRAN about your package. And because this is an initial release, there isn't really anything I need to tell CRAN other than that it's an initial release. So I'm going to leave this as it is. Go back. Um, 
we can check that off. Now we need to run DevTools check. So we can do that. And it's actually somewhat important to run it when you're doing the CRAN submission with remote equals true. So just uh, regular DevTools check doesn't do any of the remote um, checks. So there's some checks that need internet access to work. Those are the remote checks. Um, and they take a little longer to run normally, which is why we don't have them enabled. But for this submission, because you're, this is your sort of your last check before the submission, I think it's important to run. To run at all the checks that you possibly could. So while that's running, let's go back. So we can, we can check that off that we've done that. Um, DevTools check when devel builds your package and then submits it to the win builder service provided by CRAN that builds your package on Windows. And that's important to do, especially if you're not developing on Windows, but also because the win builder is set up very similar to the CRAN's Windows machines. So it's a great test to make sure your package will pass when you actually submit it. And I've done that previously. Um, what this looks like, If I search for win builder, the results you get look like this. So you get an email, and then you can look in your, your check log, and you see that it, it returned with only one note. which is indicating that it, it's good to go. So actually, let's go back. We can check off, check when devel. And then the next three are all our hub checks, um, which I have also ran previously. Um, the first one is, is checks for on all the systems that our hub uses. Our hub is set up so it has builders for the exact same um, systems that CRAN uses to build. So, and that's what Check for CRAN does: is it it submits your package to our hub for all of the same uh, systems that CRAN would would use. Um, the next one is using the R Check system to that provides more robust checks for compiled code. And I've done that already. And the same thing with the sanitizers. Sanitizers are used to, to avoid um, out of memory accesses and and other issues that you that you get with compiled code. So I've done both of those things. If we if we look at our hub, we can kind of see what this looks like. Yeah, oh, that was a bad example. So this is the email you get from our hub. Um, it's saying that it built with a note. This note is fine, actually, in our case. So, um, so that's what, what I did there. The polishing the package down reference index I've also done, but we can just look at our site to verify that. So if we go to the room site, we can look at our reference index. And then see we have nice, nicely written um, subheadings for all of our, our reference documentation. And drafting the blog post, I haven't done, but I'll do after the submission. The next thing to do is actually do the, the version bump. So here we're going to do use this, use version major. And this my ch my check is actually still running. So once this finishes, so the things to look for in the check are um, that everything in your description file is coming back without notes. That's important. Uh, the version note here is because this version it still has this uh, nine nine thousand at the end, but we'll be updating that very shortly. 
And this non-portable flag is actually coming from my um, personal make 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 settings. So this is not a something that's going to be seen on Kranz machines either. It's not something we need to worry about. Our test passed fine. Um, it's now doing it last few checks and then it'll be it'll be finished and we can go on to the next step. All right, now it's done. As I mentioned, this warning isn't something we need to worry about. Now we can call uh, use this use version and we're specify actually I'm going to call it without arguments. And then again, it's asking us our, which version we want to use. It had filled in major because that's what we used when we made the issue, but just wanted to show that again. Um, and now this is saying that is actually made this change in the description file and the news. And do we want to commit those? So we'll say yes, for sure. Okay, and then that's that's done. So let's go back to our checklist. Check that off. Um, now I can update the CRAN comments, which we already did. We already looked at, so I can check that off. And then the last stage um, is we run DevTools submit CRAN to actually submit our package to CRAN. So let's do that now. My email address is that, yes. And we're, so now we're going to be building our package and then submitting it to CRAN. So it's going to take a little longer because it needs to install the package first, then build the vignettes, and then submit. But it shouldn't take too long. And then uh, the one, the next step after this, um, submits. The next thing you have to do is confirm the submission. So the way that CRAN uh, verifies that the, the author who actually is responsible, the maintainer of the package is the one who submitted it, is they send an email to that email address and then you have to, there's a link in the email you have to confirm. So, so we'll have to do that after this submission happens. And then our package will be uploaded to CRAN. Well, it'll be uploaded into the queue to, to go to CRAN, and then someone from the CRAN team will probably, because this is a new package, will have to review it and then add it, add it to CRAN. It. So that is, is right now is going to be a manual process. So, so there is going to be, uh, it usually doesn't take terribly long for new packages, but maybe uh, even up to a week um, is, is a reasonable time frame. Okay, so now our vignette is finished building. Everything looks okay. The file size, it's, it's good to double check that your file size is around what you would expect it to be. Um, so you're, you don't accidentally put in a file that you weren't expecting. Um, this file size seems okay. And I think we're ready to submit. So I will say I agree. And then now it's uploading the package and my CRAN comments to CRAN. And it's also reminding me to check my email for the confirmation link, which we'll do now. So let's go check our email. And submissions. I might have to refresh this once or show it. No. It might actually be from CRAN. Do, 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 do. You can see all my other emails. In just a few moments, this will pop up. But if it doesn't, um, I don't think it's anything we need to really worry about. It, I guess I can show how this looks in other submissions. So this is this is the submission for ben, uh, the, the last version of Bench I used. Basically, what it says is someone has submitted the, the package to CRAN. If you want, if you confirm, then you can click this link, and it will confirm that that you did that submission. 
We'll try just one more time to see if the, oh, yep, it showed up here. Okay. So here's our submission for Vroom. I'm going to click the link to submit. And then uh, you can look at the CRAN policies. They change every so often. And I have read through them before. Um, so I'm not going to go through them again. But they, they show all the things package authors have to adhere to to submit packages to CRAN. Um, so I'm going to say I read those. And I have checked the submission using our command check. That's what DevTools check does. And the cur current version of our devel, that's what check on win devel does uh, with the win builder service. So I'll check both of those and then I can upload my package. I'm going to click upload package. And this is when it's actually uploaded. The package has been successfully uploaded to CRAN and we are essentially done. Let's go back to our checklist. We submitted CRAN, we approved. Now we just have to wait um, for a possible acceptance. And if it's accepted, we can then go through these steps. Um, if it's not accepted, that's not a big deal. You shouldn't feel hurt. Um, sometimes the back and forth with CRAN can be um, somewhat intimidating and and hurtful, uh, they're sometimes a little, a little rough with their comments. Um, but I, mainly things I would suggest is don't try to argue with them, just fix the what they are saying you need to change and resubmit your package. You don't necessarily have to bump the version or anything when you resubmit, just um, write, the write that it's a resubmission in your CRAN comments and, and fix the changes and, and resubmit. And sometimes it takes a few back and forth um, before you can get an approved submission. But if you stick with it, you'll definitely get there. So we have successfully um, submitted Vroom to CRAN. Woo! And I hope this um, demystified sort of the process for you a bit. And um, if you'd like to try Vroom out once it's on CRAN, once it's been accepted, um, I, I'd love for you too. I, I hope it, it makes importing files in, in R faster and easier to do. So, and if you have your own package you'd like to submit to CRAN, I really encourage you to do so. Um, it's a great way to get more people to use your code. So to go over the things we talked about, um, use the use release issue function in the use this package. Uh, use DevTools check to run our command check locally and verify that there's no uh, issues. Use check win devel to run checks on win builder with our devel and make sure there's no issues there. Use our hub check for CRAN to run on all of the our hub machines and verify there, there's no major issues there. And then finally use DevTools submit CRAN to do the submission. And most importantly, if the, you run into issues during the submission, don't panic, fix the issues and, and resubmit. And if you stick with it, you will definitely be able to get your packages on CRAN. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this look inside uh, CRAN submission and I will see you guys next time. I'll see everybody next time.